Um, so the second excuse that we hear is when you ask if they charge an evaluation fee if the unit goes to the ER, and, and some people hate um, evaluation fees, some people understand the reasoning behind it. Uh, so that, but but the excuse is as well, it really just depends on how much time we put into the unit. So if I ask the repair station if they have a, if they charge a BER fee or evaluation fee, um, what, what does that mean? Yeah, how much time you put into it? Is that a yes or a no answer? Simple as that. Yes, you do, or no, you don't. It, it doesn't matter how much time you, you put into it, you're not gonna put in uh, 100 hours to evaluate it, if it takes two hours just to evaluate it. Uh, does it pass functional test? Does it need further repair? Is it an overhaul? Is it completely damaged? Does it even, I mean, there, there's so many different circumstances. Do you charge an evaluation fee, a BER fee or not? And that's the simple follow-up question to that is yes or no. And a, a good indicator is, okay, if you do charge your evaluation fee, do you mind waiving it if I send you a replacement unit? So that gives you insight into their operation if they're flexible and, and, and willing to work with you. I am Nate England, the CEO of Skylink, where we also focus on asset repairs. Uh, we call our Asset Repair Care program. Uh, not trying to sell you on that program, but I would like to encourage you to download our free report on how to best choose your next repair station partner. If you just go to join.skylinkintl.com uh, forward slash repair dash report, It'll give you the five critical questions you must ask every time you hire a new repair station, but it'll also give you a step-by-step -step process to make sure you're hiring the right repair partner for your operation. I wish you all of the, all of the, the best luck on your next repairs, and I will see you on the next video.